With Evie Baker, I'm going to be presenting a poster which is a, a practical pricing approach for correcting absolute peeling intensities for cooling rate. So this is based on work that I did uh, just slightly over a decade ago where we looked at uh, pricing theory to simulate the behavior of samples. And we measured the pricing diagram of a, of a sample by measuring the fork diagram. So we measure the fork diagram, use that as input into the pricing model, then we can predict the behavior of a particular sample as a function of time and temperature using Prysic theory. And one of the things we did was to look at the effect of cooling rate. Now the Prysic theory allows us to look, is based on interacting single domain theory. So most theories that we work with are based on non-interactings. And one thing that we noticed, this is a figure on, on the right here is from 10 years ago. We noticed that the, the cooling rate, um, rather than uh, increasing the intensity as the cooling rate increases, intensity actually sort of slightly decreases if we have an interacting system. And this has been backed up by micromagnetic models for, for systems. So we have this model, and the question is, can we actually use this model uh, to directly uh, correct the cooling rate within our uh, Tellier type measurements? And yes, we can. Now I've, I've talked about this a little bit before, but this time it's going to be a little bit different because we are writing a, a Jupyter, we're writing a, a manuscript which when it's published we're going to uh, have a Jupyter notebook so it allows you to do this yourself. So even though I have published some stuff before where I've done this, I've never made it publicly accessible. So this is the really just about uh, emphasizing that and explaining how it all works. So um, how this works is we look at uh, the uh, blocking and blocking spectra as a function of temperature, you can model, which allows us to calculate a correction as a function of uh, cooling rate. Um, this is the, the graph on the right there. And then we take the array plot data. So on the left, we have an uncorrected curve. And for every single point, we recalculate that position, the effect of cooling rate on that individual point. And then we refit the data and we get an estimate. And as you can see here, we got a slight increase from 39 uh, microteslas up to 43 microteslas. This is actually for a, a Gabbro, so we're justified in using a 1 million year cooling time, but this is just to show the effect of that. Obviously, this is a flash talk, so there's not too much time to give any more details. Please come to my poster and talk to me or Evie about the poster. Thank you very much.